guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a couple of different Father's Day gift ideas to hopefully inspire you and help you decide what to get this Father's Day. My kids love having like a combination of gift ideas. They like some store-bought gift ideas, some DIY gifts, and some baked goods as well. So I'm gonna be showing you a combination of all three. And like I said, hopefully, this will give you some ideas of how to make your Father's Day a little bit more unique this year. So every single year when the kids are at school, they always make a Father's Day card there. But what they also like to do is they love to buy their own Father's Day card as well. So yesterday, the boys and I went online to try and find some Father's Day cards. And we went onto Amazon because that's pretty much my favorite shop because next day delivery saves my life quite often and the boys found these pop-up cards by Hallmark and as soon as they knew they were cards that popped up they were like we have to get that for dad and that's when I found out that Hallmark actually have a whole shop on Amazon they sell loads of different cards loads of different packaging solutions and loads of different wrapping paper as well they have such a variety so we went on there and we pretty much ordered everything that we needed on there I also got some packaging bags so once my DIY is ready I could pop them into these bags and make the gifts look a little bit more special too so look what has just arrived this is the bundle of stuff that I ordered from Hallmark from Amazon and it's got all the different cards and packaging bags that I've ordered it's also got a little mug in here as well but I'm going to lay everything out and show you what I have got as you can see I did order quite a lot because I also wanted to get some packaging bags because people have recently got married and we're going to quite a few weddings in the near future so I wanted to just be really organized and have a little stash of things in my cupboards in case of an emergency right so now I've shown you everything the boys chose from the Hallmark online shop. I am now going to move on and show you three DIYs and one baking slash DIY as well. Let's get making. So for this photo transfer DIY, you are going to need a keepsake box or any other piece of wood that you would like to use. You're also going to need a picture of your choice and you want to have that printed on a normal piece of paper via an inkjet printer. This is a really important step because it will not work from photo paper. You need some paint and you also need some Mod Podge glue or this is actually a PVA and water mix. What you need to do first of all is to just paint your box or your piece of wood. I went for a white because I thought it looked really nice with the picture I had chosen. Once it's completely painted and all dry, you then need to cut your picture to size. You then need to put a layer of your Mod Podge glue or PVA glue on the top of your box and then place your photo face down onto the box. Make sure you try and get as many bubbles out of your picture as possible. This is sometimes very hard because I do have a couple here. Once you've got that down, you want to paint another layer of your PVA glue on top and leave it to dry overnight. Once it's completely dry, you are then ready to get some water and your fingers and just wet the whole of the surface of the picture and slowly rub the picture away. After a little while, you'll see that the top layer of the piece of paper starts to peel off. Be very, very careful because as you can see, I have rubbed a little bit too hard in a couple of areas here and more of the picture has come off. But again, I just think it adds to the whole effect. Once you've rubbed off the top layer of the picture, you will be able to see the transferred image underneath. You can then fill your box with whatever treats you fancy and you are done. What you're going to need for this DIY is one of these box frames. Mine is just from Ikea. You're going to need some favorite chocolates and then also this sticker, which can be purchased on eBay for a couple of pounds. What you just need to do is open the back of your frame, throw all the chocolates in there, put the back back onto the photo frame, and then when you turn it over onto the glass, you want to transfer the sticker onto it. So what I did is I cut my sticker in half and on the top bit it says bad day in case of emergency and then at the bottom I decided to put the break glass sign. I just think this is a really fun gift. These are Chris's favourite chocolates in the world so I know this glass will probably get smashed in about 0.3 seconds time. For this DIY, you're going to need another one of the IKEA box frames. You're also going to need another photo that you love, but this time printed on proper photo paper. You'll also need some little flat stones, some scrabble pieces, and some no more nails glue. So what you need to do first of all is again, just open up the back of your frame and get the insert out. You want to keep both of the inserts and then secure your photo onto the mount of the insert. I've just secured mine down with sellotape, but you can secure it down with glue if you'd prefer. 
Once you've done that, you then want to get your Scrabble pieces and start sticking on the message of your choice. The boys and I decided to write, Dad, you rock. The reason we're doing this is obviously because we have the stones to put into this frame too. So I'm using my No More Nails glue and I'm just sticking down each of the Scrabble letters separately and I am making sure they're all nice and flat and all nice and even too. Once you've done that, you then want to get your little rocks. I've started with the baby rock first and you just want to make sure you leave a small gap around the edge just to make sure there's enough room for the frame to sit nicely on to the insert. Once you've stuck your rocks down, you then just want to wait a good like hour or two for it to dry really, really well. This No More Nails glue is so strong and it will hold your rocks on here, I promise. Once everything's nice and dry, you then want to get a little marker pen and just draw on some little faces. And then what I have done is I have labeled the rocks Dad, Rory, and JJ, so that when the boys give this to Chris, he knows who each rock symbolizes. And that's it, that's your little rock frame complete. To make these shortbread biscuits, you need 125 grams of butter, 55 grams of caster sugar, and 180 grams of plain flour. Mix it all together, and then you want to roll it out onto your worktop. Just make sure you put some flour down first so it doesn't stick. And then once you've rolled it out to about half a centimeter in thickness, you then want to cut out some shapes with your cookie cutters. You then want to put it into the oven at 190 degrees centigrade for about 15 to 20 minutes, or until they start to turn golden brown. So while those are in the oven baking, you just want to make a really simple cookie holder. And to do that, you need just a paper plate and some sellotape. So you want to get your paper plate and fold the two sides into one another. Once you've done that, you then want to do the same on the other side. And then along one of the creases on each side, you want to make a cut up until the inner crease. So basically what you are left with is a piece to go up like that and then your two side cornery bits that you can fold into and make a corner here. Once you've done that, you can then secure them down with tape. And there you have a little cookie holder. So what you can do here is you can either decorate it, but because we have got the nice bags to put it in, I'm just gonna put some tissue paper underneath the cookies and then some tissue paper on top as well. Thanks so much for watching today's video guys. I hope it helped you out a little bit with some like Father's Day gift ideas. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you again next time. Bye.